Hi everyone, today I'm going to be demonstrating our loop editor within our wallboard CMS. Now think of our loop editor as a presentation where you can display images, video, and even some templated messages to go ahead and display some information to your device. Now to go ahead and explain the loop editor, I think it's best to just get into it. Now if you wanted to create a new loop, all you would do is click this plus icon here, select a name, and then click create and open and that's going to start your first loop. I've already made one here as an example, and I'm gonna go ahead and click into it. Now, this is gonna take us into the loop editor. Now, when you're looking at the loop editor, there's about three panels here, one on the left, center, and right. And I'm gonna go ahead and break them down because it's a little bit easier to understand. So on the left-hand side, this is gonna be our timeline. The timeline is basically a playlist of images that all have times associated with them. So they will go ahead and play in a playlist and play for however many seconds is assigned. So in this case, this grass image here is gonna play for five seconds, giraffe will play for five seconds and so on. From there, you can assign animations such as a fade or uh, many other options to choose from. And you can even arrange by dragging and dropping uh, your images, but I'm just gonna keep it how I have it here. Now in the center, these are gonna be our libraries. Now, these are all of your resources that you've uploaded into your file manager. If you need to upload uh, any JPEGs, PNGs, GIFs, or uh, MP4s, uh, or even MP3 files, you're gonna upload them into our file manager by clicking on the folder icon. That's gonna take you in here where you can upload all those assets. I'm gonna click out of this. And that's gonna be your image library, video library, and then you're gonna see over here where we have layouts. Now think of layouts as templated messages where they have sections, much like when you create a new slide on PowerPoint. You can put things into each of those boxes, um, such as a widget, but uh, I'm actually gonna get into that in a second. On our right side here, these are our properties. So uh, when it comes to our properties, we have our properties at the slide level, so it only affects you know, each of these images that were added. We have the loop level, which you know, affects the entire timeline since we are editing a entire loop. And then from there, there's some other settings that you can uh, have to hide some different settings here. But let's say I wanted to get back into this sort of layout here, these templated messages. I don't want these you know, plain images here and I want something a little bit more advanced within my loops. All I'm gonna do is drag and drop one of these and I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here and I'm gonna click into it and that is gonna go ahead and open up this sort of layout here. Now, as I said, each of these boxes can all be edited with different widgets, images, or even text within them. So let's say I wanted to assign something in this box here. I would go ahead and click on the box. You can double click, type, and then click on text. And then I'm just gonna type today's weather. And then now that will populate. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the font size. And we can change the font family as well. You can make that bold if you so choose. I'm not going to. And then from there, say I wanted a background, I would go to the slide level. And then from here, I could change my font as well. So I'm gonna do that and make it white. And I want to assign an image. There we go. Then from here, you could go ahead and select box number two. And I, for a type, I want to select weather. So for the weather widget, uh, what this would do is allow you to show just the temperature outside. So for location, you can either put a city or zip code. For me, I'm gonna put Dallas, and I'm gonna change that to Fahrenheit, and I'm gonna increase the font size on this as well. So as you can see, it's very easy to go ahead and edit some of these properties within your loops. And so from here, I'm just going I'm to leave this one blank here and I'm just going to save. And then, so now that I've saved here, um, I want to change this time to five seconds, but I want to preview what I've made so far here. And so you can see these changes. And what you're gonna do is click on this uh, play icon 
And this is gonna take you into our preview and browser window. So that's gonna be it for this episode on how to use our loop editor. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us at sales at Thank you and see you next time.